yeah. It's war time. It's war time. Gather the troops, yeah. It's war time. The Most High is gonna have mercy on you, Black Respect and Native If you return back to Him, He's not before me. It's war time. It's war time. We are gods on this earth. We are God chosen people. Keep the black, yeah. It's war time. Calling all Jews. It's the same that was in Christ's face. Words say that don't matter. It's our job is to watch them and to warn our people. Wake up from the lies that you're in. We must return as the Israelites because that's who we are. You are now tuned in to Wartime Radio Show. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another show of Wartime Radio here at WPJM 800. My name is Officer Kalaya, and to my right... Officer Aita. And to my left... Officer, you want to talk so. You already know what it is. We come to bring you biblical solutions to the problems that we face in our black community. Today's topic is, come as you are means stay as you are. That's literally what the <sighs> church has been teaching our people <laughs> for the last... For the past few hundred years in this country, it ain't gonna know? get no better. Yeah, and uh, the only way it's after gonna... today, right after what I just saw, man, <laughs> the show is gonna take a turn. All right, and it's, it's, it is gonna take a turn. But we, we we're gonna start out, you know, where we normally start out. Give me that in Romans real quick. It's the Book of Romans, chapter fifteen, verse four. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. What's crazy is we start the show with this to try to give our people a sense of uh, encouragement, a sense of comfort like the scripture is saying right here because everything that we're going through as a people, everything that we've been through as a people is written in the Holy Scriptures. We're supposed to be able to take this Bible, go through it, and relate our condition to uh, our forefathers in the past and understand where we're going in the future. But in the church, they're not getting that. No. They're getting come in and stay, come in and stay in sin. Come right. as you are. God loves you as you are. Who right. does that? So we got a couple of clips. You hey, know, we look, gonna... look, look, look. Before we get started. Okay. Hey, can you give me the scripture, come as you are? Can we find, can you find it? <laughs> I looked for it like two <laughs> years ago. I, I never found it. Huh? Old or see Sure. Come as you are. Come as you are. Okay, hey, there me, it is. Give me, give so me, as you can see, look it up on Google. <laughs> can you Google I'm it? Like Google it. Google Help it. us during the show, yeah, so that we can actually know where this scripture yeah. is. Because since people say it so much, they make you believe it's a scripture. You know, it was said yesterday at camp. <laughs> the brother said, "You come, come as you are." The brother right. said it, and, and he, we said, we said. Find it. He go to the Bible. He gave him a Bible. Gave him a Bible. <laughs> he, he literally, literally took the Bible. <laughs> he took. Okay, so he. Okay, at least he, we got one to actually take the Bible. He took the Bible. So he tried. So yeah. So I, I stood there beside him. I'm like, bro, <laughs> you're not gonna find it. It's not there. <laughs> but in case you think it's there for the brothers and the sisters that are on the eight that are, that are on this station that are listening, grab your Bible. All right. I want you to Google it and find that scripture. We're going to continue with the show, but you know, <laughs> when you find it, you can email us. Give what's that? What's the email address? IUIC dot Columbia at Israel Unite dot org. Yes. All right. Email us if you find that scripture. All right. But we're going to start out with a couple of these clips. Let's let's let, let's roll that beautiful beam footage, like Bishop says, <laughs> and see about how we're going to enter into heaven and and and. If you if you can come as you are and stay like that. Let's, Let's see what these brothers have to say. Roll and that. so here are four things that we see in this parable that will help give us a better understanding. Number one, Jesus says here, he said to them, make every effort to enter through the narrow door. And so Jesus gives them this, this phrase, he says, make every effort. And actually the Greek word here for this phrase, make every effort, is the word agonizomai, from which we get our English word for agonize. And it carries the idea that we should labor, we should be intense about this, we should work hard about this. Now. This brings up somewhat of a theological problem. 
Is Jesus suggesting that we are working for our salvation? No, he's not. But essentially what he's saying is if you are a genuine what? believer and follower of Jesus Christ, <laughs> then your works will follow. So notice what, what he's not saying. What? He's not saying Bro, that you, you have about, to man? make every effort to get into the kingdom, but rather I want to exhort you to make every effort to get in. So Stop. Jesus here. Stop. I'm confused. Stop. I'm hey, confused. Listen, they confused too. Come on. But now. they confused too. But back that back up to that uh that last piece right there. Watch, listen, watch the ignorance. Good. This, watch the this is why you can't come as you are. Oh my God. This is why you can't come as you are. What the heck did he just say? You gotta come and change, man. Play, play this again, cause everybody out there I'm just confused. got confused. <laughs> Watch what he so says. Notice what he's not saying. He's not saying that you have to make every effort to get into the kingdom, but rather I want to exhort you to make every effort to get in. So Hold Jesus on. here Stop. is essentially. <laughs> so he's saying, Christ said, don't make every effort to get into the kingdom. No, he said, Christ said. I'm not telling you to make every effort to get into the kingdom, but I'm telling you to make every effort to get into the kingdom. That's what Stop he just said. And listen, and he reading Listen, another, he's reading another another see. Yeah, he's reading another version. He reading another version of the Bible. Yes, so, he read another hey, version. Can, can we read the scripture that yes. he read? Get that uh, in Luke. Yeah, Luke 13 and 24. 22. 20, start at 22, I believe. He started at 22. The book of Luke. Let me Luke. look at it. Let me see. Let me see. Start at 24. Yeah, let's read 24. And uh, IT, get the definition of strive. Yes. It's the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 24. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. Uh -huh. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. So Christ just said, strive to enter in at the straight gate. Mm -hmm. That's a commandment. That's a commandment. That's, that doesn't say, so let's see what the word strive mean. Maybe I got it wrong, and I don't, I don't know what this dude say. So he said that Christ is not saying to make an effort, but this says strive. Right. Make right. great efforts to achieve <laughs> or obtain something. Struggle or fight vigorously. Hey, <laughs> What the heck just happened? These so-called uh, <laughs> pastors or students of pastors, they are literally against the Bible. Right. They are they literally teach against the Bible. Uh, it's crazy. The Bible, read, read that again. It's the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 24. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. Uh-huh. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Now, you just pulled the perfect definition for strive. <laughs> that's what he, but he said that's not what he's saying. That's, you, can't, you can't make this stuff up. Now, what, you got something? Yeah. Are you going about to deal with this real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Um, again, the, the script says to strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Well, who is that many and what, what's the straight gate? Um, can I get second edge with seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. No, I actually was going to deal with it. Let's get it. <laughs> verse 20. <laughs> Let me get verse 20 real quick. All right. Second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 20. So it says many will try to seek to enter in and will not be able. Let's see who are those that will not be able to enter in at that straight gate. Mm. Go ahead. For there be many that perish in this life. Go ahead. Because they despise the law of God that is set before them. That's the whole thing with the Christian church. They're against us keeping God's laws. Right. And that's that straight gate. But read, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get a little bit more clear. Verse read. 21, for God have given straight commandments. He's given straight, S-T-R-A-I-T. The same as in um, Luke chapter 13, verse 24. He's given right. straight commandment. To such as came. To the many, go ahead. What they should do to live, uh -huh. even as they came. Mm -hmm. And what they should observe to avoid punishment. There is a punishment to come as you are and stay as you are and not keep the Most High straight commandment that many are going to perish in this life because they don't want to keep God's laws.
So <laughs> right. you just got to be mindful of that thing. Hey, so, so you got to do something. So, you got to do something. I, I can't believe what he said. I wasn't here to get hey, like Yeah, you, you I, I, I was just about up. to say, hey, play it again. But play it from, uh, what, was, what was the time? Play it from the top again. <laughs> oh, man, today has been a day. Today has been one hell of a day. It, it ain't even no, all. All right, now pull it, pull it back just a little bit. We ain't even halfway. We got some time, boy. We got some time to yeah. We got some time to deal with these pastors. All right, play. To heaven. That's kind of the idea that is being presented to Jesus Christ. And so here are four things that we see in this parable that will help give us a better understanding. Number one, Jesus says here, he said to them, make every effort to enter through the narrow door. Stop so right Jesus there. gives them this, Stop this phrase. Stop right there. Stop right They there. change that, that Christ is saying, strive to, to, you know, as long as you just give Try. an attempt. Give, and make an effort. whatever. Make you know, it. they make light of what Christ right. is like saying. Right, it's, like it's a, it's a little thing. Like it's a little thing. But what he just said, what he just said right here. Play that one more time. Play that 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 piece right there. One My bad. I missed more you up. time. Yeah, I want to. I want to dig into something. Make every effort to enter through the narrow door. So, so stop right there. So in their version of the Bible, it says make every effort to enter in through the narrow door. I want to go back to Second Ezra real quick. Chapter seven. Start at verse. Uh, uh, uh. Let me see. Start at verse six. It's the book of Second Edges, chapter seven, verse six. Because ultimately, what is being discussed here, people, is the kingdom of heaven. That's what we're talking about. That 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 straight and narrow it leads to the kingdom of heaven. Read that. The book of Second Edges, chapter seven, verse six. There is also another thing. A city is builded and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. This is making reference to the kingdom of heaven. Read. The entrance thereof is narrow. So that's what that, that's what he just read. Mm -hmm. The entrance thereof to into this uh, city and to the kingdom is very narrow. And we're, uh, we're, what I'm making reference to is the part that you just made, how he's making light yep. of the uh, of uh, of the struggle that you have to go through yep. to enter into the straight gate. Read on. There is oh, entrance through the narrow. No, hold on. Start Check at verse 7 up. again. Verse 7. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. So the entrance into the kingdom of heaven is very narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Read. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand. So on the right, you got fire. Come on. And on the left, a deep water. And on the left, deep rushing water. Both of these things can kill you. Both of these uh, uh, situations on your right hand and on your left hand could cause you to die in the process of entering into the straight gate. Right? Read on. And one only path between them both. So that's that straight path that we was just that we were just talking about. There's one narrow straight path in between these two dangers that are on both sides. Come on. Even between the fire and the water. Come on. So small that there could be one man go there at once. Come on. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? So as we continue to play, the brother is going to go into uh, uh, whatever agonize or, or whatever the Greek word he's going to use to 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 express a point that he's not even giving validity to because he's downplaying the work that you got to put in mm -hmm. to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. So, but when we read the scriptures, the scriptures are telling us that there is danger on both sides of this narrow path, right. and you have to fight. You have to struggle to pass these dangers in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. So that means you got to do something. That means you so, got to do something. So you can't just stay as you are. Exactly. Exactly. Finish the, play the clip, finish the rest of the clip. Can't right there. You can't and make so, this up, bro. Here are four things that we see in this parable that will help give us a better understanding. 
Number one, Jesus says here, he said to them, make every effort to enter through the narrow door. And so Jesus gives them this this phrase. He says, make every effort. And actually the Greek word here for this phrase, make every effort, is the word agonizomai, from which we get our English word for agonize. And it carries the idea that we should labor. We should be intense about this. We should work hard about this. Hold on. This wait, wait. brings up somewhat wait, so, of a theological. So he went and pulled up. You know, I, they kill me when they go to this Greek crap, all this stuff. We speak English, right. you know. But this dude did all the work to pull up a word for that phrase that right. said yeah. agonize. That's not what he meant. No. Even in the NIV version, because that's what he reading out of. <laughs> that's what he reading Even out in of. the NIV version, it is telling you it's going to be hard. And why and he, he talk like that? No. <laughs> why all these Christians gotta talk like that? Yeah, but, but ain't agonize a hard word though? Yeah, the, yeah. So yeah. It's like, to, yeah. But, and know. when you it's think about painful. it, to it's agonize it's exactly really painful. painful. That means you are, you're struggling, you're going through something. <laughs> right. I, you, you can't make it up. Like Christianity is the best crack. It's the best Stop crack it. on the planet. Get some help. Play. Unbelievable problem is Jesus suggesting that we are working for our salvation no he's not but essentially what he's uh. saying is if you are a genuine believer and follower of Jesus Christ then your works will follow so notice what he's Stop not saying again. yes because this dude is this is what happens in these uh cemeteries these Christian churches <laughs> this is what you are learning in the church listen Come as you are is not in the Bible. You must change. Right. But what causes you to change? Mm-hmm. Let me get Exodus chapter 18 and verse 20 real quick. Because there is a work that must be done. You have to understand what that work is. And, and applying the work that must be done according to the Bible is going to cause you to change. It's going to cause you to uh, 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 convert, as the scriptures say. Read what you got in Exodus. It's the book of Exodus chapter 18 and verse 20. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws and shalt show them the way wherein they must walk and the work that they must do. What that last part say? And the work that they must do. So the question that our Christian brothers and sisters have to ask themselves is, what is the work? The Bible tells you what the work is. The work is the keeping of God's commandments. Read that from the top again. There it is. The book of Exodus, chapter 18 and verse 20. And thou shalt teach them ordinances. So we must learn the ordinances of God. Come on. And laws. And God's laws. And shalt show them the way wherein they must walk. So in learning God's ordinances, his laws, the the penalties and punishments for breaking his laws is going to cause us to walk a certain way. It's going to cause us to come out of the... A uh, uh, mental filth that we're in right now change our ways right. and convert to what the Bible is saying. Read on. And the work. And this is the work that they must do. You mean tell me they ain't, they ain't never read that in the Bible? Man, they read it. Huh? They read it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, man. Can't make it up. Go ahead, play. There's another. There's another point in the in the timestamp though. Uh, let's get um. Looking at the timestamp, let's get that next timestamp. I think it's two two eighteen. Where we at right now? All right, read, yeah, play I can, from. I can tell you why he talk like that. He ain't got no beard on his face. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that face. Play from uh, two thirty six to two thirty nine. what he's not saying he's not saying that you have to make every effort to get into the kingdom but rather i want to exhort you to make every effort to get in so jesus here that's is a, a damn oxymoron <laughs> exactly i just want to see where this goes like the worst the next test <laughs> weird. Like what the i don't even know what the, like, God, this, right, is, this, this is nuts man this is you, it's crazy this is crack that's what this is play on Essentially condemning lazy living. He's condemning lazy Christians who basically just want to get some cheap fire insurance so they don't go to hell and they just want to kind of skate through life and not do anything and somehow at the end of the judgment that they're able to get into heaven. He says don't but that's get lazy. Exactly what he's be teaching, obedient. Though. That's- and give.
That's exactly what he's teaching. But right, he just said that you don't gotta try. Yes, you don't have to. But then he turned around and said that Christ is condemning. Right. If you don't try, that's exactly what he's saying, man. That's exactly what is being taught I don't, in I don't the Christian I, church. I, and this is why we must come back to this Bible to understand what is going on. Read that. I mean, I'll play, play the rest of that. Live, serve, live your life in that following way. So essentially he says to this guy, don't be so concerned about how many people are going to get into heaven's hotel, but rather you really should be concerned about whether you are making every effort and doing your part to get in. Okay. Right. right. So what does that take? That you got to try. You got to give, you got to do what the Bible says. Hey, get that in uh, 1 Corinthians 12. You know what I want? Verse 2, I believe. Unbelievable. Romans 12 and 2. Yeah, Romans 12 and 2. Yeah. It's the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. So essentially, when you come into Christ, even if you you even if we use the analogy of the Christian church, essentially, when you come into Christ in the Christian church, as a lot of you all are listeners on this particular channel. When you come into Christ, you are not in the scripture. You are not the uh, uh, in the condition or in the, uh, what am I trying to say? The, the, the pure form of what Christ wants us to be. You come in, you're coming from a world of filth. Read it again. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. Come on. And be not conformed to this world. So that's why the scripture says, be not conformed to this world. When you come into the Christ, I know when you come into this truth, we come from all different types of walks of life. Yeah. You know, you coming from the club, you coming from all type of filth that you've been participating in through your whole life. So the, through Christ, Paul is telling us through from Christ, do not be conformed to this world. Read. But be ye transformed. Don't that mean change? Yeah. That, that's don't, what that means. Don't be ye transformed means that you got to change. Right, so right. so how can I come as a, how, what, is, what do you mean come as you are? Maybe they mean come in as that person, but you change to a new person. That's what they say in Christianity. I've no. never heard them say that. No. Oh, okay, okay. No. I've never heard them say that. I've only heard no. the Lord loves everybody, the come as you, you are. are. Right. <laughs> right. Hey, look, when people do, like, look, 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 look. <laughs> Look, look, I remember this also because stuff is funny. So when you go to the Christian church and they do something wrong and then they stand up and they say that little dumb phrase, they be like, look, I sin, I repent of my sin, right. and I went to church to pray for me. And then they sit back down and then they go right back out there and do exactly right. what they just did. They don't even got to say what the sin was. They, they it, it, <laughs> Look, 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 all kind of fornication going on, everything. It must just... I feel bad this morning. I'm gonna confess. <laughs> I'm gonna confess my sins. Hey, we do. We, I want to do. We got that. Yeah, finish that. We, I want to do. We got that clip of the brother that goes down, get baptized, and come up with. with oh crack God, pipe. that was oh, crazy. God. Hey, finish, finish that script. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So, what renews your mind? We just read that back in Exodus chapter 18 mm -hmm. and verse 20. When you come into Christ. And Christians love to say, I'm in Christ, I'm a new creature. Right. So if you're a new creature, what changed? That's did, what this actually says when you read right. the rest yeah. of it. So how, how, did, how did you become a new creature? If you're in Christ now, how did you become a new creature? Right. Something had to change. What was it? It's your mind. But read on. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and Perfect will of God. Wow. So there you go. It said that you may prove. So it means it's going to be seen. Right. So your actions won't be the same because it's going to be proven that, oh, shoot, he ain't the same way he right. used to be. Exactly. She ain't the same way she used to be. Exactly. Because it has to be proven. But if you act the same, but you just say that, you know, I've, I've repented and all that crazy stuff, don't do nothing for you. Right. But so... Read that, Unbelievable. Read, read that part again. Read uh, that, that they may prove. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So the, questions that, the question that they should ask now is, what is the will 
of God. Right, that perfect. they have to prove that. Right. right. That they got to prove it's you gotta, perfect. If you got to prove that the will of God is perfect, that means you must know what the will of God is. All praises. Let's find out. Because the, it's the answers to this in the Bible. Because we've seen all of these brothers that come up here to teach our people what God says, thus saith the Lord. They never use the Bible. Listen. Well, we've we've re we're at least reading the scriptures. <laughs> they they talking about some come as you are or or what have you, or you know Christ is not saying, but he's saying. All right, uh, did Jesus whip? <laughs> <laughs> hey, read that. What is the will of God? Let's find out. It's the Book of Psalms, chapter forty, verse eight. I delight to do Thy will, O my God. Yea, Thy law is within my heart. So. Is the Bible saying that the will of God is his law? That's, that's what we just read. I mean, is that that hard to comprehend? No. That's so why we do we think you got to just come as you? To come as you are, I mean, you come as a thief, you can sit in the midst of the congregation and be a thief. Yeah. You yeah. come as a stripper, you can sit in the midst of the congregation and remain a stripper. That's actually no, what nobody, happens. Nobody can judge him. Yeah, can't God, nobody can't and judge me because I'm here. God loves you the way God loves the sinner but hates the sin. <laughs> but watch this, though. We're going to play this clip real quick of a brother that came as he was. He came, as a, he came exactly in the form of what he was. <laughs> Got baptized and all. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Michael. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was the that was the start of it. I want you back go to the beginning of it because I think he's saying that little that little prayer that you was just saying. <laughs> that's, hey, what bro, was, that's what he said in the beginning. All right, let's go. <laughs> Are you for real? Name is yeah. Bling. Hold on. Hit, hit play. Either this is the short version of it, but in the in the original clip, let's see. Unbelievable. Now, I've never this, seen this whole clip. This is come as you are. What in the world? Who, whoever did this to dramatize? You believe he paid for your sins on the cross at Calvary? Here it is. Yes. The Bible teaches that he shed his blood <laughs> and that he put his blood on the mercy seat. Do you believe that? Yes, I do. The Bible says if you truly repent, if you truly turn to him, if you truly ask him to save you, he'll save you. That's what the Bible says. Do you look at me? Do you believe the Bible? Would you right now pray and ask Christ to save you? It is. That you're a sinner. This is what goes on and in the church. Jesus Come on. Christ, God Almighty, God for your sins. Would you right now pray? Just look at me. Yes, sir. Say, dear Lord. Dear Lord. I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I'm a sinner. And I know. And I know. That Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ. Died for my sins. Died for my sins. And I come to him. And I come to him. And I repent. And I repent. And I turn to him. And I turn to him. And I ask him. And I ask him to forgive me of all my sins. To forgive me of all my sins. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Come to my heart. Come to my heart. And save my soul. And save my soul. He's serious too. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Why did they blur out the Stop real quick. So he got the prayer in. He got the whole prayer in. Look at him. This brother right here, he is seriously about to change his life. He came as he is. Come as you are. He came as he is. He said the sinner's prayer. Play the footage. Bro, this is crazy. I ain't never seen that part. I've only always just yeah, seen the dump down the part. That's it. That's it. Now I'm going to question Amen. Hey, man. Hold on. Let's go. Hold my hand here. Pay attention. No, 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 no. Pay attention. No, no, no. In the lab. Baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Bling, bling, bling. Unbelievable. You see this? You see this? You see what come as you are, dude? People he can't. He ain't make it out the door. He ain't make right. it out the door. He ain't make right. it out the you know water. What? He, right. did this as a, he did this as a show for on many levels of what. Our people are taught in Christianity. Oh my god. Dip it in the water. Don't change why why the water ain't changing? So the water ain't changed the brother. He ain't save him. Like the, the water like... ain't ain't saved the brother. <laughs> oh my god. He wasn't washed and cleansed in the blood of in the blood of Jesus with that water. Hey man, I'm getting a headache today. The bro. dude jumped up <laughs> and smoked <laughs> a crack pipe. Headache today, man. <laughs> Listen, people. 
Oh, man. The answers to our problems, the solutions to our communities and our conditions is in the Holy Bible. Right. But if we don't repent and come back by changing our ways, then we're going to remain in this condition. All right, this That's is Wartime right. Radio. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back after this uh, break with the rest of the show. Y'all stay tuned. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Wartime Radio here on WPJM 800 AM. So we're going to continue with the show, Come As You Are means Stay As You Are. Might have to change the title, I don't know. <laughs> Switch it up a I little know, bit. I know, because this is, this is madness. Next part of the show is going to take a little turn, because what we have to deal with is we got to deal with, our, with, with, with these pastors, and we are always dealing with these pastors. That's what's crazy. We're That's always dealing right. with the condition of our people and how they continue to stay in this condition because of what they're being taught in their Christian churches. Right. I guess I'll start out with uh, Jeremiah chapter 23 real quick. That's mm -hmm. one of my favorites when it comes to, you know, these uh, brothers that are supposed to be leaders of the flock. And we're going to find out what the Lord says. <laughs> Read that. Start at verse 1. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Read on. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Stop right there. I just love that right there part right there. Make my teeth white. <laughs> it says, thus. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Why don't it say everybody? Right. Why don't it say Thus, the Lord God of the world. Because he ain't they God. It's just going to be plain. It's gonna, <laughs> it's, this thing, it's, this, it ain't rocket science. No. But no, no. as it pertains to these pastors who sit in these churches as leaders of our people, they must come back to this Bible in its true form mm -hmm. and stop talking from their heart. Read one verse and then next thing you know, they throw the Bible, slide, slide the Bible under the, under the pulpit and, and then they're just talking out of their mind. Unbelievable. Finish that script. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. So this is against the pastors, not for the pastors. This is against you pastors. Read. Ye have scattered my flock uh -huh. and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, says so the Lord. The Lord is going to repay the pastors for the evil that they've done by scattering the flock of Israel. How That's have they scattered right. us? They scattered us so much so that now we think we could just come as we are. Yeah. You're going to leave. You, we left, turned our backs on the Most High God, got filthy, and then we're just going we, gonna to come back and stay in the filth. We're going to come back to God, but we get to stay filthy. Yeah. Right. That, that's nah. what they believe. Look, out at camp yesterday, it was a sister came out there, and I literally was asking her if she was in a holiness church. Right? Oh, God. So I just asked us, I was just telling her how the stuff that we're being taught in churches literally dumbs us down so far that simple math, it's gone. Right. I said, what's two plus one? She said three. I said, cool. How many days was Christ dead? She said three. And then he rose up, right? She said, yeah. I said, okay, cool. So he died on what day? She said, Friday. I said, okay, what day did he get up on? Sunday. I said, count the days. <laughs> I said, literally, church has literally taken it so far that you answered two plus one with no problem. You understood it, but as soon as I asked you to count how many days Christ was dead, you said he died on Friday and got up on Sunday. I said, that is two days. Right. She literally sat there and put her hand on her own head like, oh, shoot. I never knew. Because they ain't It was absolutely crazy. They're not being taught anything. Bruh. Our brothers and sisters, we go to church for a, a feel-good, emotional, 
uh, 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 emotional stimulation for the day just so that we can say that we're serving God. Yeah. But you're not serving God if you're not keeping the commandments. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. coming on the screen is a well-known brother in our oh. community amongst black people. Ooh, and this just happened. How they say this just in? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Just Break, in breaking news. Breaking this, news. This, this same, just in. This this what gave me my headache, y'all. This is the condition right <laughs> of a brother amongst oh, our people who has a a platform, who's able to teach and guide our people, but that guidance is falling short because of the understanding being missing from 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 his mind. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna roll the first uh. <laughs> the first clip of Mr. <laughs> Jesse Lee Peterson uh, with our with our, with our leadership here at yeah. Israel United in Christ. Shout out to Atlanta. All right. Roll that real quick. He never asked for forgiveness. You forgive and God will forgive you. There's nowhere where God said go and ask someone to forgive you. He does say go and apologize for judging. And so once you apologize for that, he just then said, the spirit that, of God. Hold on, hold on. Press play. Stop. Press stop. Like I'm telling you, this this thing. This man just said that Christ didn't tell you to go and ask no one for forgiveness. Bruh. He said, what did, what did apologize he apologize for, for judging. judging? But he said, apologize for Where judging. Where do you read that at? <laughs> That's I, that's what I'm saying. Where do you find that Look. in the Bible? <laughs> or go and apologize for judgment. Right. The most I judged us. <laughs> you think he finna apologize to us for breaking his laws and judging us? But we was told to judge. Right. We was told. Come let's on, let's man. get one of the judging scriptures. Come Shoot. on. The man said well, we can do, apologize. We can, <laughs> we, Twelve. Either yeah. Either one of them. Either one of them. It don't matter. We. Seven it's about to be one. a long day with this. Or brother. go to Corinthians, whichever one you want to do. Right, all this. I mean, <laughs> let's get. Don't matter. Get First Corinthians, I guess six. Yeah, all right, we'll do Corinthians. Six. Right, we'll do that later. It actually told we was told to judge. This brother right here say you gotta ask for forget. You gotta go ask. For forgiveness, ask for it. The book of First Corinthians, chapter six and verse one. Bring it out. Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints? So this right here is actually saying, are you gonna go to the other nation? Like you, it says, go to the law before the unjust meaning the other nations, but it didn't say, and not before the saints. Like, it's a rhetorical question. Like, so you ain't going to go to your own brother? You going to go to another nation? And, and, apologize, asking, and apologize. And apologize. <laughs> right. <laughs> Read on. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? There it is. The saints shall judge the world. Read. And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? So that's what we're supposed to be able to do, is to judge the smallest matters. If you out here in sin, we're supposed to be able to correct you. Right. We're supposed to tell you. We ain't passing judgment. Right. right. We're not condemning you. Right. right. We're not condemning you. We're just telling you what you got to do so you don't be condemned. Yeah. Much like right now on the show, like if, you're, uh, if you're in sin, if you're keeping the Sabbath day, on Sunday you are not keeping the Sabbath day. We're just we're telling you where you're going off at, what you're doing wrong. But they turn around and give you uh Tupac chapter one and verse three. <laughs> Only God can Only God can oh judge me. Oh my god. Hey man, that thing is bad. That thing is bad. It's, it's crazy. Uh play on. Back to the footage. You done with that? No, go to three, Matthew seven. Go oh Matthew go ahead, seven. go ahead. Do no, three. no, no, no. Go ahead. Well get get the scripts out. Let the let the scripture speak. All right. Um do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge? Are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Uh -huh. Know ye not that we shall judge angels? Mm -hmm. How much more things pertaining to this things so, that pertain to this life? Read on. If then ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. So we have to be judges. <laughs> it says we gonna be judging. Period. Judging messengers. Look, if y'all out here teaching falsely, we ought to tell you. Right. Unbelievable. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, so man, Matthew. You want yeah, Matthew 7 and 1. 
because this is what they always go to. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 1. So for you pastors that are out here misleading people, just like he's doing, we're correcting you. When whenever we tell you you're lying, we're judging you. We are telling you what you're doing wrong. But that don't mean you can't repent. Read 7 and 1. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 1. Judge not that ye be not judged. Uh -huh. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. Uh -huh. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. So it said, judge not that ye be not judged. For what, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. So as long as I've corrected it in me, I'm supposed to tell you what it is in you. Right, right. So now if I'm, up here, if I'm up here smoking weed, I can't go to a brother and be like, hey, man, you need to quit smoking weed. I right. got to stop first. Right. That's what that means. So it's telling you to judge. Just make sure before you do so, get yourself right. But people, they judge all the time. People judge people every go day. To courthouses, right? Like, nobody ever tell the white man that. Hey, they do, they in their homes. They can put on a a, a woman like you, you, this morning. She got dressed. She put on the uh, the, the the black hat, the big yep. old hat that goes to church. The husband <laughs> said, "No, nah, don't that that's that one right there. That ain't the one. Mm -hmm. Get the other one. That's right. that's judgment." That's just, you go outside, you, when you look on your phones, you check the temperature, you want to see whether you're going to wear shorts <laughs> or whether you're going to wear some, some long pants. That's judgment. Right. Hey, don't Matthew 18 tell you that if you and your brother have something that y'all got to go and y'all got to talk to each other? Yes. And that whichever one done the offense is to apologize, but he says that's not what the scripture says. You know what? It's only a problem when it comes to judgment when you're reading them what thus says the Lord. Oh because they don't want to do what the Bible says. They want to do what they have been taught <laughs> right. the Bible says. They don't want to do what the Bible says. This is bad. All right, you will go back to right. the video. Go back to the video. This is bad. Show you how to be a man. He will take you through life oh. without the anger because no other human being, Jesse Peterson or anyone, can cause you to become a man or mm -hmm. woman. For women, they have to do the same thing, forgive their mothers. Mm -hmm because they're just like their mothers, too. And the cycle goes on from generation to generation. But no human being can cause you to become a man. Only the spirit of God can do that. Hey, bro. okay, so Mr. Peterson, I, I, I agree with a lot of what you say, what you've said. I agree with a lot of it because a lot of what you said is biblical, the structure in the household, the things of that nature. But there's a part that you made mention of a couple of times about being angry. Mm -hmm. What we tend to forget is anger sometimes is a driving force to do better mm. so real That's quick exactly what our here at Christian out. Saints yep. Radio so IUIC we are Bible just the thing up. based everything must be thus saith the Lord so I just want to get a quick scripture Ephesians 4 and 26 real quick Ephesians 4 and 26 and, and because <laughs> Mr. Peterson uh, correct me if I'm wrong how you doing I'm Captain Amaziah correct me if I'm wrong you are a pastor correct yes okay all right so you believe in the bible okay good no i don't believe in the bible i believe in god Pause <laughs> right there <laughs> ah, did you, hey, see Cap you, face? Had to, you had to see cat face. Hey, Cap face he was like, he, he was what? like what wait a minute <laughs> this don't even make sense <laughs> how this is your pastor of a church where there's people that are going there depending on him for the word of god for the yeah. medicine that the oh, most high has, le has left us He's a pastor. He said, tens I don't believe thousands. in the Bible. I believe in God. This man got tens of thousands How? of followers. Something like that. That's, that dude got a lot of people following him. He got more than that. Yeah. And he don't use no Bible. Bruh. So, so what do you believe? Like, how do you learn Look, if, he you, just if told there's you. no Bible? He, he just told you. He, he said, I believe in God and not the Bible. Now, how is that possible? What? I don't know. This makes absolutely no <laughs> sense. Kept face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it caught him off guard. Hey, he didn't expect yeah, him to yeah, say yo. that thing like that. I, I didn't either. <laughs> when he this said is why it. you got to go back. That's why. Oh I, man. That's why you got to go back to Jeremiah chapter twenty-three and read down. We got we got to read down now because this is this is dangerous. This is right here. This is the reason why the people are scattered because you have men set up that are not. They believe in God. I don't even know that. Matter of fact, get that in Isaiah. Get that in Isaiah. Because our people believe in God. They say that thing out loud. Oh, uh, the Lord, I believe the Lord. I, be man, I follow the Lord. Man. 
they'll, they'll, they'll do that thing, but it's all the precept of men. And right. that that is right. coming out of out of his thoughts. So if he ain't using the Bible, which we're gonna see later on in the show, he's quoting the Bible, but he don't believe in the Bible. <laughs> so if you believe in God, how are you educating the people on what thus says the Lord? I think they may have Oh, the Lord speaking to him personally. Read that in Isaiah real quick. Book of Isaiah, chapter twenty nine, verse thirteen. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. That's Jesse Lee Peterson right now. For as much as the uh, as these people draw me, near me with their mouth, come on. And with their lips do honor me. They honor the Lord with their lips. The Lord, oh the Lord this, oh the Lord that. Thank the Lord for this. Thank the Lord for that. Come on. But have removed their heart far from me. But their heart is removed from God. Why? Because they ain't using no scripture. None. Because <laughs> they, they look. They, they no say they believe in God and not the Bible. Right. So that means the words of God mean nothing, it, but you believe in them. Why are you quoting the Bible? Right. Like, right. Like, you, you like he said, he quotes from it. <laughs> he actually said that in the interview. He quotes from the Bible. Yes. Yes. To deceive people. That, and that, that's, that's all it is. That is, that, is, that is what he's doing. That is why. Oh, man. Hey, read that again. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Stop right there. It says that the fear towards the Most High God is taught by the precept of men. So, using Jesse Lee Peterson for an example, his precepts ain't. Ain't precept upon precept like the Bible says. Right. Shoot, did he even give one? He didn't whole give not view? one scripture. He made up some stuff. The whole time. He quoted certain things out of the Bible, but when we're looking at the scripture, it says that their their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. The precept mm -hmm. of men is what they is what he comes up with in his in it from his own thoughts. That dude is crazy. He left the interview and went to church, man. Yeah. Go teach. <laughs> Left there and went to teach a congregation of people. Go back to Jeremiah 23. Y'all got anything y'all want to pull? Get it in. No, I won't go back to the thing. Okay. Go back, look, to a different to the different to the other point. Oh, let, let him let him so that, that was done. That, that, that was done on that point. Go no, back, we, we go, back, done go, with that. go back a little bit more so we, we can catch we can catch Cap reaction because that thing was bad. Cap caught was caught Cap off guard. Was, Cap, <laughs> Cap said. Cap was like, huh? That was crazy. <laughs> Scripture. Ephesians 4 and 26. Real quick, Ephesians 4 and 26. And, and because cause Mr. Peterson, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, how you doing? I'm Captain Amaziah. Correct me hey if I'm there. wrong. You are a pastor, correct? Watch this. Yes. Okay. All right, so you believe in the Bible. Okay, good. No, I don't believe in the Bible. I believe in God. Because... <laughs> 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 It's just it don't make sense. No, it don't, man. Unbelievable. You cannot believe in God and not the Bible. That you right. you are you off. You're absolutely it, was it off. another point in there? Uh so there should be another point in there. All right, go to the next go to that next clip. Go to this if you haven't watched the show from this morning or yeah. listened to the show from this morning on Patient Saints, go and look it up on yes. YouTube, Patient Saints Radio. All right. Make sure you subscribe. Watch the show. This was a this was a really good show. Really good show. Looking forward to them coming back. All right. Play that. Come of what they have done because they did operate from anger. It didn't make black people better. It made them worse. Mm. Blacks are some of the most angry people on this side of heaven, <laughs> and they literally get nothing done. And if you know they don't build, they destroy, they have no uh peace, they can't get along with anyone. The children, generation after generation, are screwed up because anger is of the devil. God, excuse me, it's early for me. God is love, and in Him there is no anger. And love is really? not really. There, love is not. Love is not an emotion. Love is a light unto your feet. It's powerful. It's insight, and it's greater than anger. Anyone that has anger is weak, and they have fear. Because that's how they their daddy is. Hey, listen, right, stop. Listen, we ain't got to hey, wait. Cut listen, the show. Listen, that show. Listen, yeah, we ain't. We, we, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, we, that's about I understand to, that. We ain't going to be able to go no other. We yeah. going to be able to play no hey, more. You got to right 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 back up because he was listen, saying a lot. But, listen, you know, it's listen. easy to get pulled into listen. watching this again. Right. Go hey, ahead. 
Yeah, we get that in. You got it? Yeah, man. We got yeah, pull that. Yes, D 7 and 7. Please, yes, D 7 and 7. He said that if you're angry, you're, what did he say? It was like something like you're, you're, you're weak. You're weak. And there is no like anger that. in God. And there's no anger in God. Oh, well, you don't know the Bible because right. you don't read the Bible, Mr. Jesse. All right. Bruh. Let's read 7 and 7. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Uh-huh. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. So we are oppressed. And the thing is, is he, uh, he actually acknowledged that at the beginning of his interview, that we have been oppressed, <laughs> that we were slaves in everything, that we are yes. slaves in everything. He understood that, but this says oppression makes a wise man mad. So he dumb. He dumb. Right. Read. And a gift destroyeth the heart. And that's the role that he had to play on this show. Yes. He has received the gift of money and followers, so he had to play a certain role, even, even on a show where he could have been completely honest, where most of his own people are watching it. Right. And so he could have been completely honest, but for that mighty dollar, he had to play the role of what did he call? It? He even said he had the coon trophy. Yeah, he had, he, he did Bruh, say that. That thing. <laughs> he actually showed it. He showed it on the camera. Bruh, he didn't just Bruh. say he showed it on the camera. So he's a proud coon. Yes, he said he's proud. Come he said on that now, black dog. people are the most angriest people on this side of heaven. Right. But we on the <laughs> bottom. It said so that would mean at least we got somebody's wisdom because we understand we ain't supposed to be living like this. And he, what was that trophy thing? He, he? It, it's, it had a hundred percent coon. Oh, hey, give me, <laughs> give me, get, let me get Deuteronomy. Hey, get that in Deuteronomy chapter sixteen, uh, verse nineteen, real quick. <laughs> Deuteronomy sixteen and nineteen, because Jesse Lee Peterson is off, and if you follow him, oh then good luck because he is taking you straight to your destruction. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16, verse 19. Thou shalt not rest judgment. So the scripture says, thou shalt not rest judgment. Come on. Thou shalt not respect persons. Uh Uh-huh. Neither take, hold on my back. Neither take a gift. For a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. Now, Jesse Lee Peterson, like you said, he started off real good. Yeah, he He did. And he (laughs) immediately took a U-turn. Middle of the show, like not even middle, midway yeah, of the made show. It 15 minutes. Yeah, he, he took a quick U turn because he knows good and well if he continues to deal in these scriptures with these brothers that he's going to have to acknowledge that the Bible is should be the foundation of his teaching. And this scripture right. also goes with judgment. Exactly. Right. So you're supposed to judge everybody and not have respect to per- respect the person. So exactly. If you see them doing evil, you're supposed to say something. Exactly. <laughs> but go, but going into this into this gift, read that part again. Right there, it says, a, a, "For a gift, what? For a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise." So his gift is like you said, his followers, followers his platform. You know what I'm saying? That dollar that he, that he's he, he's getting, his church. You only allowed those things, Mister Peterson, is because your oppressors have allowed you to have them. Right. The minute you start speaking this truth with the platform that you have, it will be gone. Yeah. Like, you'll be banned, sanctioned, and whatever. All type of uh, 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 bans will be put against you. And you will be, uh, what do they call Look, it? You'll be deemed a hate group. Right. A you, hate you're going to be a, 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 whatever a your character ability. assassinated. There you go. In public. Just like because we tell the truth, that's what they say about us. Exactly. Same thing going to happen to you. But because you don't want that to happen, you're willing to lie and play that role. Right. Unbelievable. Go back to the show. Um, of what they have done because they did operate from anger it didn't make black people better it made them worse all right let me let me, let me say something real quick because hitting on what you just uh read with ecclesiastes 7 and 7 it says surely oppression makes the wise man mad but this brother is going into uh you know the the anger it doesn't help anything doesn't build anything but apparently well we know for a fact he's a liar yeah because right. our organization we have brought hundreds thousands of people into the body of christ right men that were drug dealers men that were rapists men that were robbers doctors lawyers just like uh bishop went over yesterday and have conformed their lives to this bible right, they've right. changed their lives according to the bible we re- rebuilding families yes, all we, right we having righteous marriages all week all, long exactly now. 
and it should and it proves that the will of God is perfect right. and it is able to change that drug dealer. That's right. The That's same right. Thing. It, it, it's having a Roman sisters 12. that was running in the streets, they come here and get their mind right, then they get a righteous husband. Right. And they righteous wives, now they have righteous children. So right. Jesse Lee don't know what the hell he's talking about. We go out to the streets and we teach our people and we are mad at the condition right. of our people. Like that's what uh, Cash Maya said. He said angry anger can make make a people get organized. Right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like right. it will it will actually get them to change. The problem is, is our people ain't mad enough because we ain't why. There you that's go. Why, that's why he ain't mad. I was just about to, Jesse. I was about to say that. That's why Jesse ain't mad. <laughs> Jesse ain't mad at the condition of his people because he getting paid. That gift. That's it. Yeah, that, that gift. That gift. He destroyed he getting, his heart. He getting paid. He ain't mad at all. Man, Shoot, he getting. Hey, he getting. He got a, 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 a ten thousand people watching him in his church right now. All of right. giving him a dollar. He can make ten thousand a day. He Man, happy. Let me get one script. Go ahead. One real quick. All right, I gotta read it. Sirach twenty one AP. We gotta read it. Bring it out. It's the it book of oh, go ahead, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Twenty one eighteen. It's the book of Sirach, chapter twenty one and verse eighteen. As is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. Uh huh. And the knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense. That man ain't got no sense when Zero. he speak. Zero sense when he talk. None. <laughs> you can't make that stuff you, you up, man. It's it like up. you, like you, literally had. Had all the leadership sitting there like, like, what the heck Bro, is going on here? Deacon I like I said, I, had a, I got a headache for it's, real. It's hard to amaze Deacon I thought, Like <laughs> He was there sitting he there was like. He was speechless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. This is, you can't make this up. Oh, go, back, man. go back to the coon. <laughs> <laughs> Blacks are some of the most angry people on this side of heaven, and they literally get nothing done. And if you know they don't build, they destroy. Hold they on, I gotta no... stop it again. He said they don't they don't get nothing done, they don't build, they don't destroy. You got Deacon IBL on the show. They have a whole community right. that built that have built their houses and, and all live in, a, in in one community with a, a whole congregation around them. This brother don't know who he's talking to. He don't know what he's talking about. Play on. Woo. That dude was trolling, man. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Well, uh yeah. peace. They can't get along with anyone. <laughs> Their children, generation after generation, are screwed up <laughs> because anger is of the devil. God, excuse me, it's early for me. God is love, and in Him there is no anger. Oh, and yeah, love is really? Not an, so they say, in God, there, love is there not is no anger. love is not an emotion. Crazy. Love is a light until Let's your stop right there, real quick. Come on, he now, said, now. in God there is no anger. All right. Let's go to Deuteronomy. <laughs> Let's go to Deuteronomy. Hey, God's I'm gonna show you God's all through anger. the Bible. We, why, did, why did he flood the earth? Exactly. Was he was he happy he then? Was ha because he was happy with man's condition of what man was doing on the earth. <laughs> let's 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 see. Let's read some of God's anger. Let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Just start right there. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Freedom. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, so we got we to gotta delve into the scriptures to see where God's anger is in here. Like a father dealing with a son, mm -hmm. right? This is the father dealing with his children. Mm -hmm. Read it from the top again. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. And it shall come to pass. This is your father talking. He said, this is what's going to happen to you, son. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of if the Lord. If you don't listen to me and cause me to be angry, come on. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. After I've given you the whole world, I've given you everything. Mm -hmm. I provided you everything on the earth is yours. But if you don't listen to me and piss me off, read. <laughs> And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. When you continue to read down, you're going to find out the curses that God put on the children of Israel because of hey, his anger. Hey, Go ahead. Can I get one? Yes, sir. Just one curse. Um, yeah. Verse 33 and 34. Deuteronomy because because he said that the black people are the most angriest people on the planet. Let's see if that's part of the Most High's program. Verse 33. 
the fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Right. So we're going to serve and the fruit, he's going to take our land and we're going to work hard and another nation's going to benefit and profit over it. Of it. Go ahead. And thou shall be only oppressed and crushed always. We read oppression makes a wise man mad. Read. So that thou shall be mad for thy sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt that see. That is why the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the most angriest, maddest people on this earth here today because we're oppressed. And it's a tool used by the Most High to wake us up. Right? Exactly. Now, we're running out of time. We got to we gotta extend the show or something. Yeah. Yeah, but so we're gonna keep revisit keep going. this this show <laughs> and this topic. Gotta keep going. We got That's to. That's right. <laughs> All right, keep. Hey, let's leave. Yeah, the extended version of be on IUIC Columbus. Right. <laughs> so look. For now, this is WPGM eight hundred. We're listening. You listening to Wartime Radio? We appreciate you tuning in. On my right, Officer Aton. On my left, Officer Juan Dacasad. And this is Wartime Radio. We look forward to seeing you guys on the next show. But if you want to hear the rest of the show, visit. The YouTube channel, all right? Visit yeah, IUIC Columbia on YouTube Wartime Radio. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, that's, uh, let's 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 go. Let's uh, where we at? What, what you just read? Um, oh, thirty-three shoot. and thirty-four. All right, be mad for the sight of Donna. Yes, sir. You done with that? Yes, sir. All right, go. Let's go back to Jesse real quick. <laughs> Hey, brother, brother's making changes mid show. Where's where's the producers at? What the heck are y'all doing? <laughs> we're new producers. Hey, we're the, we're the producers and the, and we're the co-hosts oh, with everything where's right now. Where's the producers right. at? Right. Hey, go ahead, go ahead and play that. Powerful is insight and is greater than anger. Anyone that has anger can't, is weak. Can't he keep himself together? Fear. He said He's anybody that has anger in them is weak. Oh man, listen. Did we just read what God did to us? If you're not angry, God can't use you. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? Exactly. If oh, you're no, not you, angry. You're, gonna, you're that old lion. You're that old lion, bro. You're that old lion. You should lion. be pissed off at the condition that God has put you in and ask the Most High how to fix it. Seek the Most High out of the Bible to learn how to fix the condition right. because he put us in this. That's right. Isaiah 5 and 15. Let's get it. Oh, shoot. Let's go there. <laughs> oh man, that's, that is terrible. Isaiah five fifteen. Hosea five fifteen. Hosea, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm tripping. The, I, I, I don't know what I went there. It's the book of Hosea, chapter five, verse fifteen. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. So does that mean God was mad? <laughs> God was God angry, or was he mad when he said, "You know what"? Y'all are, are a rebellious people. You don't listen to nothing, son. You know what? I'm going to sit on my throne. You, when, you, when you figure it out, come out at me. Read it again. I, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense uh -huh. and seek my face in their affliction. When they are angry at their condition in their affliction, they will seek me early. So what you just said, what Captain just said, what Bishop was saying, the condition, the anger... It doesn't make you weak. It makes you strong enough right. to say, you know what? Something got to change. I got to right. do something about right. my Something got to change. Not stay as I am. Something got to change. This brother bugged the hell out. Unbelievable. Play on. <laughs> Their daddy is the devil. Your daddy is the devil. <laughs> devil. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, yeah. listen. That joke is funny, man. I'm telling you, I, like I told y'all before, it, it, that it's dude came. Much. He's that messed up to yeah. where he almost made it fake. Right. To for where real. it's like, bro, is he for real? Right. Like I'm dead serious. Like, was that for? Was he for real? Maybe he's the second phoniest person. Inside <laughs> joke. Inside joke. Maybe That's he's the second. Man. This is this this is ridiculous. Oh man, play on. God told me. Uh, give me Mark seven twenty one. I want you to explain this. <laughs> Mark seven twenty one. Because you said you said something about you know, like Cap Mario. Hey, listen, uh, just like mm. this is what Christ said. You hey, notice? Hold on. You notice? Go ahead. You remember? Cap Shemaya didn't get to pull his script. No, never did. We gonna pull it. Pull we gonna it, read it. Pull it for hey, Cap. Hey, we got you, Cap. We got you, Cap. <laughs> he, pull he it. Said it. Pull cap script. <laughs> he didn't get the bullet. 
He didn't get to get there because they were so baffled at what the heck right. they heard. Right. Like, like I it was the, like, the what? The thought left his mind completely. <laughs> like, like, what? What did I just hear? Unbelievable. <laughs> the yeah. book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 26. Be ye angry and sin not. So according to Messy Jesse. Messy Jesse. This right here, we, we, we. You're this supposed is, to be this happy. Week, and We're sin. supposed to be happy and sin. <laughs> God said, "Be angry and sin not." Uh, so you know why He say, "Don't sin," because when, remember He said, "Vengeance is His." So instead of us going out here getting guns and try to shoot up everything, we are to organize and do what He said and let Him do. So when you say vengeance, He said, "Vengeance is His." So if He's vengeful, does that mean He's angry? So, exactly. Right. What the hell? What? Why? Why do you got to get back at somebody? And then what? He said, "Anger is of the devil," right? Yeah. Let's finish. Read verse 27. I'm going to read verse 26 and 27 together. It says, I, be shoot, ye, I can read it. Go ahead. I read it. I read it. I read it. You bring it up. Be ye angry and sin not. Right. So you're supposed to, you're going to get angry. Oppression maketh the wise man mad. Situations may make you angry, but it says, don't fall into sin. Read. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Don't lose your wisdom while you're angry. Go ahead. Neither give place to to the devil. Don't give place to the devil, which means the devil can't be your father if you're angry <laughs> and you're not sinning. Right. <laughs> and you don't lose your wisdom, which is the application of God's laws upon your wrath. Right. Read your father is the devil when you sin and you break most high's laws. Right. So so pretty much his father is the devil because he's so yes. happy. So because he's so happy go lucky. Thank you. And Woo. nothing bothers him about oppression. He the devil. Right. Right. I'm going to show you something. Now, don't press play yet, but bring the uh bring the video back. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something. Now, hold on, no, 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 no. I said, don't move nothing. All right, play it right, play it from right there. I want to show you something. <laughs> Look at just his hit face. play. I can't take just hit play. Chapter and by the way, hold on, said, back it up just a little bit, just a little bit. When 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 Deacon got his finger in the air, back it up a little. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. <laughs> now, press play. Watch this. I'm going to show you why this the, none of this affects him at all. Read. I mean, play. Explain this. Mark 7, 21. Because you said, you said something about in our heart. Uh, this is what Christ said. Mark chapter And by the way, hold on. you said you don't believe in the Bible, but you keep quoting the you Bible. quoting the Bible. Yes. Stop right here. That's, they got him. They got him. But watch this now. Look, because they're like. He want to quote the Bible, but he don't, he don't, want, yeah, he don't, he don't believe, he don't believe it, in he the Bible. Quote it. But watch this. I will, just keep looking at Jesse. Press, press play. That's, that's yeah. not it's confusing. Yeah. That's, that's, very, confusing. That's, very, that's weird. So read very this. Weird. Mark <laughs> chapter 7. <laughs> verse hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you say? I could quote things from the Bible, but not believe in the Bible. High in the hill. <laughs> Okay. Hey, look to the yo, point. Everybody yo, just got yo. look. The whole panel, the whole panel, could not believe what they just heard. No. Like what? They, all they could do is laugh. Like what the heck is going on? He said, like, "I could quote the Bible and not believe in it." So if you're quoting the Bible, what, you're quoting the Bible to your congregation. Oh, what man. is the? What do you think the state of mind of the congregation is? But he the, believes this. But then the first thing his congregation would say is they believe in the Bible, yeah. right? Until he's, they heard that he's right. using the Bible to deceive. He's using it deceitfully. Yes. Oh, man, the most has a master. Now, what, what I wanted to say was, you notice how we pull scriptures. We use I can't the Bible. believe this interview went that long, man. Bruh, I'm telling you that went. that man, I can't believe he stayed on the whole hour that he was scheduled. I'm going to tell you why, because we have we have professional prophets, you know what I'm saying? They, they know when to turn it on and when to turn it off, you know, because if they had turned it on. Trust yeah, he me. hung up. He would have <laughs> hung, he the hung up. The, he would turn the camera off, hey, all that. Shout out to you, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Leadership. Y'all held it captains. down because <laughs> that Joy did the it, call. Oh, man. It had Even to be the hard. sisters on the show. Hey, man. All of a sudden, Carmela and hey, all right. of y'all. It had to be hard Captain, to hold it together. That thing is crazy. I, mean, I, 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 I wish I could have seen the back. Squirmish. Right. Like, Move around I wish I could Because, you know, they only had one person on the camera. I wish I could have seen. The rest of everybody, because you can hear them. Yeah. But just like, what the heck is going on? Right. But, <laughs> hey, oh man. I want to show you something though. Pull Jesse Lee back up. Don't press play yet. But like I was saying, you notice how we pull scriptures. We read the Bible. Yeah. The whole time 
that scriptures are coming out, he don't even try to read a scripture. I don't think he have a Bible. He ain't got a Bible in near him. That, look, mate, I don't know what this screen thing is that he's looking it's at. A, it's a know. computer. I feel like it's scripting him to say the dumb stuff. It, it, That's why I said, man, he was trolling. It probably is. Man. It probably is. Because I can't. I, that dude gave me a headache. But if you if you follow Jesse Lee Peterson, now you're getting to see a raw, uncut, j- this just in a, an hour ago of him live on the show. He don't believe the Bible. He believe in God, but he don't believe in the Bible. He quote the Bible, but he don't believe he in the Bible. He the Bible to deceive those that say, that do believe in the Bible. Because there's probably some people they, in his congregation that genuinely are trying to get answers. Right. If you ask them, they're going to say yeah. they believe in the Bible. And so he uses the Bible to quote from it to deceive those that really want to be there, that's really trying to learn. Matter of fact, the hell is this? Let's let's mm, let's go back to Jeremiah where you was at twenty mm-hmm. mm-hmm. ah, three. Ah man, let's read fourteen. The book of Jeremiah, chapter twenty three, verse fourteen. Because this dude right here is he's literally he he's he's an Israelite, even though he said we're not the real Israelite. Hey, uh, later on in the show, <laughs> he said, he he said yeah, yeah, like he, he says, says with the, the real Jews, I'm American. Oh, I, I ain't black. He said, I'm American. Ah, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Read 14. Jeremiah <laughs> chapter 23, verse 14. Read it out. matter of s- fact, jump up. Jump up 13. 13 verse, and 14 together. Verse 13. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. Mm-hmm. They prophesied in Baal mm-hmm. and caused my people Israel to err. They didn't believe in God. These prophets did not believe in God, so they misled the northern kingdom of Israel. Read on. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem the southern kingdom. and horrible thing. What they do? They commit adultery. So they go out here and commit adultery. And walk in lies. They walk in lies. Woo. And that's what he's doing. And because he's walking in lies, read on. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers. They strengthen evildoers. They tell you it's all right to just come as you are, stay as you are. You don't have to do what the Bible say. You could believe in God, but you ain't got to believe in the Bible. The dumbest thing ever. So because of that, read on. That none doth return from his wickedness. So he got those in his congregation that are genuinely looking for answer. They will never return. They will never repent unto him. Never. Exactly. And read on to this right here. This is why you get the most effeminate men and all kinds of crap. Read. They are all of them unto me as Sodom Uh and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. There you go. Because these pastors are doing this stuff to our people, taking the Bible and using it deceitfully. Our people can't repent under them. Come out of those churches. Unbelievable. Jump jump to verse 30. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 30. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets. So the Lord said he's against these prophets that 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 uh, we're speaking of. Read, said the Lord, that steal my words. How do they steal the words of the Most High God? How do they steal his words? Obviously, they they don't. He ain't using no Bible because he don't believe in the Bible. Right. So what he do is. In his own mind, like we read in Isaiah, the precept of men, he's con- he's coming up with his own concoction yeah. of what God says. Absolutely. That's why in most churches, you got a pastor that sounds something like this. And the Lord said, <laughs> and the Lord said, <laughs> the Lord this, and the Lord, the, amen, the theatri- amen. What is it? The theatrics? Yeah. Right. Or whatever. Because is that what the words? They are coming up with their own information at that moment. Like, oh, at oh that moment God. in time. On the spot, live, in front of the congregation, they are developing the thoughts that they think God want them to say and rehearsing it to the people. Read it again. Mm -hmm. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, Uh that steal my words, everyone from his neighbor. Everyone from his neighbor. Your neighbor is the children of your own people. That is who your neighbor is. Read on. Behold, I am against the prophets. He's against Jesse Lee Peterson. Come on. Saith the Lord. That use their tongues. They use his what? Their tongues. Uh huh. And say he saith. The Lord saith. So they say God. The says, Lord saith. But he don't believe Bro. in the Bible. So God ain't said nothing. This brother talking about. 
bro. Like you said, they that, that steal the words from your neighbor. You you won't even teach them God's laws. So this you keep is, the words of God away from them. This is the ultimate destruction of our people. Like we we think we just destroyed because of we came out of slavery, had no education, got some t- some form of education, and grew to a point to where we started operating our own businesses and getting in prestigious places of employment. But the whole time we were being killed off spiritually mm-hmm. by these pastors that are set up in these mega churches that have their platforms to reach our people and are constantly and consistently spreading this garbage. Unbelievable. You can't Unbelievable. make it up, man. Unbelievable. Go back to the video. Okay. Go back to the <laughs> you, video. you want some more? <laughs> hey, I mean, we're hey, we going we gonna to end after this right here. Let's, <laughs> let's get some more of this foolishness, man. In the Bible, the Bible, look, 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 see, look, look at it. Hey, cat, like, they oh, cannot God. believe what they're hearing. <laughs> they all got that look like, oh my God, I destroyed this dude. <laughs> That's why I say right. we got those are though what you're looking at are professional prophets. Because had they turned had they turned the heat up on Jesse Lee. Oh man, but we we'll still be watching hey, Patience Saints. Hey, when Deacon came on, and he just like, look, man, forget all of this. We jumping straight to it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, he was like, look, look, I know y'all trying to build up to it. He said, look, no, nah, we getting straight he to it. He said, I know you want to run into it. Jesse, like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> hey, play on real quick. Intellectual, and so they have intellectual knowledge, but not the understanding that come from God. And Sorry. so they they become Bible thoppers, but yeah, never children of God. Mm. Really? So okay. shouldn't you follow the the uh, instructions that God gave you in the Bible? Isn't that it, what the Bible is for, for? For to better your life and to avoid the pitfalls in life that are out there in this world. The Bible cannot uh, prevent the pitfalls from in the world. Look how many people know the Bible yet they're in pitfalls, right? You see that? Stop, Stop it. right now. He said the Bible. He said the Bible can't he stop. He said, "Look how many people know the Bible, yet and still they can't avoid the pitfalls." It's because they don't know the Bible. They ain't doing what it says. Exactly. This dude here, really? man. Oh man, you. They don't know the Bible. Hey, oh, God. get that. What hey, I just why I have a headache. Right? Now, look, and now, for, now for, go back. Go to the <laughs> very first scripture that we read. Because <laughs> because he don't believe the Bible, this would never. Resonate with him. Hold that and give me Romans Bro. chapter 15. But this is never, it'll never resonate. He said the Bible can't provide you or can't prevent you, you from falling from the pitfalls. The pitfalls. Of, that the is a this? damn lie. That means every that means every one of you that are in church, you in there for no reason. Right. That's what right. he's saying. Right. You there for nothing. I'm just getting money off you. That's it. You just come to give me your money. You can't because the oh. the, the source. The foundation of the church is the Bible. It should be the scriptures. Right. But if that, so if that ain't the foundation, and if that can't help you avoid the pitfalls of life, then you don't have no help in the church. <laughs> like, right. there, you, go, you go there for nothing. Right. Read Bruh. that real quick. Bruh. Book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Jesse don't believe this. Now he in the beginning of the show he says I go back and I read the history and the things that our that the uh, our Man, forefathers yeah. did, but that came before us. Why? If it, if it, if it ain't helping you, if it's not going to help you prevent the pitfalls, why go back and read it? Because innately in our spirit, we have a spiritual connection to this Bible when we understand what's going on. But because he's paid, because he has a platform, he he. He ignores he, that. Yeah, he just quotes sir, he quotes a scripture to get the people to think that he's a man of God. Right. And then he but he's really not a man of God at all. Exactly. Exactly. Read it from the top. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures of what? Of the scriptures. Now, I don't know where you can find no other scriptures at. <laughs> right. Any other scripture the outside of this Bible is of foolishness. The of the scriptures. scriptures. What? Might have hope. Now, give me that in Proverbs. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 2. I give, for I give you good doctrine. What did God say? I give you good doctrine. This Bible is good doctrine to help you avoid the pitfalls of life like leadership is bringing out. Come on. 
Forsake ye not my law. Huh? Forsake ye not my law. I don't get it. If you're in the church and your pastor is talking like Jesse Lee Peterson, run. Hey, look, look, look. I can let me get another precept. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, Proverbs 12 and 13. The book of Proverbs. Because <laughs> he said, he said that that note that you applying what the Bible says does not deliver you from the the, the pitfalls of this world. He just like Creflo Dollar. Read verse 13. The book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 13. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips. So if you go through your life and you're evil, just like what he's doing, like that, like, and I think they even told him at the end, he's going to answer for every idle word he said. Yeah. So if you're going through your life and you're lying and trying to set people up and say, you're going to fall in your own trap. <laughs> so if you apply this and don't be that way, then it ain't a trap to fall into. For right. you. Read on. But the just shall come out of trouble. So you won't be caught up in the snare and traps of this world by mis by speaking evil against anyone or any uh, anybody. But but he says if you apply this, you're still gonna fall into the traps and snares of this world. But this just said no, you won't. This brother is a fool, and anybody following him is a fool. <laughs> this has been the extended version of <laughs> Wartime Radio. Pray you all got something out of the scriptures. Oh, we look forward baby. to coming back and seeing y'all again. With that, we say shalom. <laughs> Most high in Christ bless. Shalom. Most high in Christ bless. Thank you for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. Follow us on all social media platforms at IUIC Columbia, South Carolina. Join our congregation every Saturday at 4 p.m. Located at 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina. For more information, call us at 803-708-4861 at extension 237. Share our show with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on Paul's mission we out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.